All right, kia ora everyone. It's Nathan Rose from Cap Gemini here in beautiful Auckland, New Zealand. I am back with another update on the new Dataverse Accelerator app that the PowerFX and Dataverse teams released over the weekend. So yesterday I took you through an overview of the app and showed you some of the new features. Today we're going to do a bit of a deep dive into table-bound instant low-code plugins. As you may recall, I ran into a few issues in yesterday's demo. I'm happy to report that I've solved two thirds of them. So we've got a lot to get through. Let me go ahead and share my screen and let's get into it. Okay, so as you may recall, instant low code plugins have a new input parameter type of entity reference. This means that we can pass a record into our plugin and do things like associate it to a record that we've created and things like that, which is pretty cool. We couldn't do that in the initial release of PowerFX low code plugins. So I was having a so I was having a few issues with this yesterday. And what I wanted to do first and foremost was create a simpler table bound instant plugin just to prove that this thing actually does work for me because as, as you may recall I was getting errors all over the place when I tried to call this in a canvas app so I've created a simpler plugin that's only taking a string parameter as the input so what it's doing is I've got a custom table called called product and this plugin is running on that product and when I run the plugin it's going to create a sales order with the name of that product in it. So really basic, simple stuff, but it allows me to prove that this that this works. So this works in the test canvas for the plugin. If we come in here and run this, this will work. And let me go ahead and show you this in action. So I've gone and created a custom page in in my environment just to prove that this works across custom pages, canvas apps and whatnot. And let's go ahead and run this and create create a record. However, the first thing I do need to tell you is that there is a bit of a party trick to this. This was something that it took me a bit of time to figure out. But when you invoke your plugin, so what you do is instead of using environment like you do with a global instant plugin, you specify the table. So in this case, it's my table is called products. I see the name of my plugin. And then what I need to do is I need to specify the row that I'm working on. This, this is something that wasn't quite clear, but in the IntelliSense, I was seeing a reference to a, a row ID. So when I put this in, suddenly my input parameters appeared and it just worked. So that's the party trick. You need to specify your row and then you can put in your input parameters and Bob's your proverbial uncle. So let's go ahead and play this and I'll show, show it to you in action. All right, so let's go ahead and press this. We've invoked our plugin and I'm gonna come over here to the model driven app and we should see a sales order that's just been created for this product. So let's go ahead and refresh this and we can see we've just created this. So the plugin, works. So that's the party trick for invoking a table bound low code plugin. Specify your row. OK, so the next thing I said was awesome. Let's see if this works in modern commanding. So I went ahead. I created a modern command in my in my app. And as you can see, there's no errors in the IntelliSense. It should all just work. So let's come over here to the model driven app. Let's go ahead and invoke this command. You can see that we've got our notification. Let's come over here to see if it has in fact created an order. And it has not. So it appears for now that table bound instant plugins are still not supported in modern commanding um, for low code low code plugins. So it looks like that's that's a carryover from the initial release of this. They're still not supported. Um, but still good to know. So so I wouldn't go spending a lot of time on this. Um, it will it will work in terms of you won't get an error in your IntelliSense, but it's not actually functional at this time. So okay. Final thing I want to show you is in terms of this plugin that's 
invoking an entity reference. So this is what I'm seeing in my Canvas app when I try to invoke this plugin. So firstly, knowing the party trick of specifying the row made um, popped, popped my um, um, input parameters here, but the issue that I'm getting is this order ID. So this is this is my input parameter entity reference. Back here to the Canvas app. I have thrown the proverbial kitchen sink at this. I've tried this item. I've tried this item dot sales order, and the error that I'm getting is incompatible type. So it's passing it a GUID, and the plugin is expecting a record. So I've reached out to the product team at Microsoft for a bit of guidance on this. Um, I'm I'm leaning towards this is probably something that I'm missing in my formula, but I'm not 100% certain what's going on, and I'm not not exactly sure how to how to resolve this. If any of you have some ideas on on what I'm doing wrong, um, do ping me on social because I am quite keen to to get this working and see this in action. So that's that's today's. Oh, and last thing I want to show you is that this does work in Power Automate. So in Power Automate, you can invoke perform a bound action specify your table and you're going to see the plugin that you created using power effects you can input input um, parameters from a list uh, list items or some other dataverse action that you've done in power automate let's go ahead and run this and we can see that our flow has run successfully we've successfully invoked the plugin and th this is the one that is that's specifying an entity reference. So if I come over here to my sales invoices and let's just sort this newer to older, you can see that we have in fact just created this via the plugin from Power Automate. So so the plugin is functional. There's just some mismatch between my PowerFX formula and my Canvas app and what the plugin's expecting to see. So I'm, I'm hoping to hear back from the product team in, in the next day or so in terms of what I'm missing. And once I do, I will update you. So that's today's update. Remember, if you are calling an instant um, table bound low code plugin, you must specify your row. That's the party trick. Um, this will work in custom pages. It will work in Canvas apps. It does not appear to work in modern commanding, um, but you can use it in Power Automate if you like. And I'm still trying to resolve how we get the entity reference input parameter to work in, in a Canvas app. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back in a few days with some more updates. Thanks, everyone.